All right, there we go again. I should probably do that too. By the way, I probably ma won't play too much uh, Skyforge. It's a shame, because... Like, I actually tried writing them. It's like, can you delete my character? And it's like, nope, we can't delete characters. And I was like, ah, all right. <sighs> Steam is not working the way I wanted to. All right, can I use the store? Guess not. Let me try relaunching Steam. He left as soon as I quit the game. Bit of poor timing. Let's see if this works a bit better. The game I played against you, Pum, though, was really obnoxious, because one of the reasons you got away was the fact I had no fucking hooks left, and it was so obnoxious, and it was like inside the house and shit, and I was like, ah, I can lead you. Then the fuckers came to rescue, and I was like, nah, guess not. Are you sure? Then there's another guy. It was the game you were in, I think. Or I had a game where it was like, uh, what happened, effectively. I had no items first game and second game. I found some map in a chest. Yay. Maps are really weird items, though. Like. I'm not saying you were the one who like used the toolkit, but you were in the game with the guy who used it. Oh, we're level two. Ah, oh, that's toolkit. Gerald of Rivia. Professor. Rank two survivor, not bad. They keep leaving because they want to play with friends. Let's hope she... Let's hope she uh, isn't just like blatantly abusing some uh, bold abuse to get to rank 2. Oh, I think that might very well be the case. I had the weird game with 6 generators to start. Yeah, I had that happen too. Don't know if you were 4 or 5. Yeah, if you have five people, then you'll have like one extra generator. It's the amount of people and then plus one gen, effectively. Oh, uh, it's my first game and I'm ridiculously tired. So let's see how well it's gonna go though. I might just stream for like this for an hour or something. I really want to go get a nap. I got so poorly, like so little sleep yesterday. Last night, or whatever you want to call it. Good luck. I don't need luck. 
um, MLG Pro, you know, all you need. Like, it's time to sleep soon here. Now I'm in Denmark, it's like 11 in the morning, but I just slept like shit in the, last night. So I have, like, I just want to go take an hour's nap or something before I do my evening stream of Dark Souls 2. Because I want to be focused for it, because it's fucking hot. Oh, oh, oh. France at the same time. That's nice. Time zone's always rather confusing to like figure out, I think. Also, the loading screens has become really, really long for this game. I'm not sure if more people with potato PCs have started playing or if the servers are like messing up, but... Need to wait for this logo. Yeah, but this is just kind of excessive. I wonder if he's actually gonna get into the game. If he's just gonna leave. If it goes on for much longer, I might as well leave. <laughs> Can't start with one guy missing. Yeah, pretty much. That's the problem. Oh, there we go. At least I started next to the juke house, so I can get a few traps in there. Fuck the fact that this thing even exists, man. I killed himself for no reason. Do you think that's the FK guy? Also, do you think it's the system like that just makes it so? Um, I think it might be so people don't DC. The basement is a really strong weapon for you. The basement is just usually so far away from everything. That's cold. It's a bottleneck position, but it doesn't matter if you're not, um, right here, this one. <laughs> Another tip as a killer. This comes primarily for how much I played Evolve. Um, don't always try to chase the person. Sometimes try to um, go around them and like cut them off. It's a bit risky if they run the other way. Ah, uh, I thought there wasn't the anybody here. Let's rock! That's my bad, I underestimated them. People just started kinda ignoring survivors, so I was like, eh, whatever. I want the insidious perk so bad. Because it's fucking awesome. He died. There 
most likely stay around trying to fix the gen that's almost finished. I would want to fix it anyways. Insidious perk? Insidious is the perk that, um... There we go. Heartbeat effect that the killer has, or the heartbeat effect that survivors use to hear the killer. Insidious perks makes that heartbeat disappear if they have. Um, if the killer stands still for six seconds, then they will make no heartbeat sounds. It is the ultimate uh, hook camping uh, perk. I want spies from the shadows. Wait. That's a strong perk. Yep. Did you hear that? I mean, everyone can use four perks, everyone will use it. Yeah, definitely. Probably a crow perk too, I'm a bit scared all the killer will be the same. Now you're all different because but yeah, because you need to choose for four perks. Yeah, I think four perks is a bit excessive too. Unless they make like 40 or 50 perks for every character. Someone's constantly pissing off birds somewhere. Well, not close enough to get the visual cue. I feel like I heard him entering a closet. Like, it sounds like the gen and the closet shares a few sounds. Cause I could swear I heard like this squirk. They aren't even moaning anymore. I should probably just have hung up the. Oh, there. Yeah. 
see you run into a trap. Coming for you. So I crawled away and there's like, I'm shit anyway and I started crawling towards the waterfall. How to hear closest next? Need to, uh, need to play killers, get a shoot, nice trap. Yeah, you probably should, like... People, everybody's just like, you can stop the vault abuse by putting traps in the duke house. I'm like, yeah you can, but... You shouldn't be forced to place traps the exact same place every single map. And it should not be the only counter to something so strong. To be fair, it was fairly, fairly bad by them that they had a lever. That's a bit unfair. I think it might have been the guy with the potato that was Tomorrow is the last day of the Dead by Daylight beta. Well, killer runs faster, so we are forced to use wall abuse too sometimes. <sighs> yeah, the killer does run faster, um, but you can like stop the killer by example throwing obstacles in his face or running away and then hiding or like I know it's a bit harder that way also like you can see me I have to sort of cut people off and then they just run the other way but people aren't used to that yet it's just like that one house where the killer has zero chance unless like he ignores you or he just like you already have a trap there that's just the case we're like all right then fuck me From the perks I've seen now, I want the uh, Iron Grip, uh, Spies from the Shadows, uh, which is the Crow perk, and then I want the Insidious perk. I think those three are like really, really strong compared to the other ones. Like I have one that makes my, uh, I have one that makes my Killer era, uh, Aura quick, like harder to. It makes skill checks harder effectively. Hiding burst perk to kill or hear the entity whispers when the victim nearby. No gun layers. Well, yeah, the entity victor is, but that's like with, when you're within 40 meters of a. When you're within 40 meters of a survivor, you'll hear whispers, but you don't get a direction of where they are. So it's a 40 meter radius. It is nearly useless, like, because it's so big and it's in radius. That's hot. That's one. You, like effectively what I do the first time is I go past all the generators and I hear which one is uh, hear which one is already started so to say pretend to put down the trap wait don't put down the trap they're coming 
So I could... I could hear that um, the generator was closed or turned on, so... Oh, that's one. Uh, this is like the worst part about the system right now. I have to get this one because she can heal herself. Like, this is another major cheese as the killer. The instant unhook is one thing. But like, oh shit, they're doing work on the gens. You can see the instant unhook is one thing, but um... The fact that like, when you punch a person, they can just run to the hook, take him down, and you need to do the reload and you need to get over there too before you can do anything. And at that time period, they can get away. It is so ludicrously wrong. Probably gonna get away because they've been just going for gens. So effectively, I can't actually attack. With the way the system is now, I can't actually attack a survivor and get anything for doing it. I need to bait them to actually get down the other guy. Which is fucking ridiculous when you think about it. Yep, there go. Go, 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 go. What? Oh. And that was a case where I couldn't even get that one up. Oh, he's gonna be instant sacrifice now. Right now, it's honestly a lose lose situation for the killer, because, um. If you. Like. If you don't camp to get away, if you do camp, then uh, they're gonna get gens. They all heroes today. Yeah, because it works. But they're rude, so I'm gonna kill them. That's it. Also, the fact that they can heal each other pisses me off so badly. That's one more gem. Except when I'm not. Yeah. The other two are healing each other somewhere. I guess they're not gonna go get her. If they are, I can go kill her and she'll get instant died. Case is better to just be a bastard. 
just gonna jump in the window is she? She's doing the right thing, she's waiting to pull down the obstacle. We still have very few things we need to deal with. This is another area that's this is another area that's like really really uh, survivor favored. Not only are there two windows, there's actually three of them. Where did this go? There. I wonder if she hit somewhere. Probably did. That's up to heal. There we go. Now I just need to follow them out, let them both bleed to death. Neither can, uh... This is the too far away from any real hook. Oh, the hatch is in here. Okay. I hope she hasn't seen the hatch. down and I'm gonna let it do it in a case where I can catch her again. Right over here. Thing to do as a survivor. <laughs> she bucked over to the wrong side. Hold the iron grip perk so bad. case that could happen. The worst place. So many obstacles right here. Oh no, 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 no. I'm not gonna let her jump into the hatch. No, you fucking don't. Sure where? She went past me. She knows it here. Yes, yeah, she's been running past it. And she was crawling towards it at all points in time.
Oh, I'm gonna try something ridiculous risky. Alright, mate, now it's now or never. Damn, she's not even. Oh, man. Yeah, she wants to use the vault house. And there's fuck all I can do about it. Oh, I missed. Hit 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 There we go The Kroberg, Kroberg is awesome right? Like, it's ridiculous how easy it is to wiggle out It's so easy to wiggle out the killer's grasp Like, I know, again, that's another thing where it's basically survivor mentality versus hunter mentality. Kill survivor mentality. But it's, it's like survivors always want a chance, like, they want to feel like they can always get away at any point in time. Um. But. Like, but at the same time, the killer kind of has to have times where the survivor can't run away. Like, you saw how many times I had to catch you just because you fucking uh, escaped the grasp. I'm gonna soak some soda, be right back. It's not easy to destroy escape killers grasp and hooks everywhere if you no know one destroys them. <sighs> well it takes like ten seconds to wiggle back and forth. <sighs> ah, that's a toolkit. If there's two toolkits or more, I leave the game. That's rank one survivor and a toolkit. It's gonna be harsh. <laughs> oh shit. Alright, let's do this. Oh toolkit left. Like, it's really annoying having to accept, um... Like, you just have to accept that they're gonna wiggle free. That's why I went over to this corner and was like, this is the best corner that I can lose them, because there's no obstacles. But there were. I hate the hatch. I hate the hatch so much. Such an annoying thing to deal with as a killer. I tried trapping it, it doesn't work. I put two traps, one on it and like one around it. Didn't work. The animation to clip through it, which is not nice. Then there's Duke Shack, which is just like, meh.
Because you can see I have to waste time every game like placing traps here. That's one. Oh, it's, it's the wrong one she jumps in off. Come on! Oh, what? She didn't even see that? Oh, alright. Oh. On the other hand, when it does happen, they just get hanged up in the juke shack. So I guess that's the double-edged sword of it. If they're there, they're mostly kind of come from here more than anything else. Someone's behind me. Someone really wants to die. volunteer Let's hope that this works. Oh, well, this all just going to be gents. Killer attacks can be really wonky. Once again, cut them off. Don't try to, um, don't chase them unless necessary. I'd say it would be kind of sad that she was one of the few people that actually got off the hook. Ah! That's a I'm going to be kind of sad if she's already at the hatch, the other chick.
Can't remember where I dropped her. I don't have much of a clue where the hatch is in this mount. Oh, this one. Well done. Yep, it worked out. I hope they fix the ranked uh, rank mode for launch because it's really like rank is so puny. One thing is the fact that you fight against people who's like completely new to the game. Uh, secondly is how you rank up is based on blood points. So playing poorly makes it like it's worse than playing well. But yeah, I hate the hatch because I feel like I feel like the hatch is sort of just a way to say, oh yeah, all of your survivors fucked up completely. But that doesn't, like, that doesn't matter here, escape. Like, for the killer... I think the main problem is how wonky the definition is of winning in this game. Like, cause as a killer, you feel like you have to kill all of them to win. You can let a guy escape, like, you feel like you lose, cause you didn't kill all of them. But at the same time, the survivors has to win by not dying. But there will always be, like, unless you're really bad, um, there will be one surviving. But why? Why would you leave like that? I think I'm gonna do one last game, then I'm off to take a nap. Then there was a short and sweet one hour Dead by Daylight stream. Well, look forward to the game coming out, like, I'm gonna be playing it a lot more when the blood web is actually infinite and not limited. It's a bit sad that I don't use items or offerings or add-ons, because, um, I can't get any more. I also hope they remove the ebony and momentum, the one that allows you to instant kill people on the ground, that's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> I'll see things like that. What I like is everyone can win. The killer kills two, two escapes. Everyone is happy in one, except the two dead guys. Yeah, exactly. And that's that's the reason why not everyone is happy. Because the people who die, the guy who died on the hook, it doesn't matter for them. Like, they're lost. That's it. They're lost. They could not give a rat's ass about the rest of the team, which I've seen. Like, I've seen people get hang up and just insta kill themselves. Because they're like, why should I waste time here? While there's others that feel a sense of uh, duty towards the team. So I think it's just a weird situation. As I mentioned in another stream, like way back, I think that um, like survivors should get rewarded if like per other survivor escapes. So it's like um, like they actually gain something for. And I'm fighting five people. That's unfair. All right, let's go. Madness level up is annoying. Skip death, make it everyone. And that's the. Oh, there he is. That's why I find. That's why I find the blood point system ludicrous. Like. 
I got more points for a game where two people escapes than I got from a game where I killed four people. Like that should be the case as killer. For survivor, I think it should be more like if you fuck up and die, then well you fucked up. Simple as that. You get punished. Will I even have enough hooks for this? Will he be able to get away? Oh. If they bum rush me now, I'm fucked. Change players. I always try to win sometimes for others, but yes, not. Just escape to three times, give up without fighting. So I see you have a survivor, especially when you run towards them to help. Well, yeah, but again, that's kind of the point. Like they haven't. Even if you were to run to them, like if they got away, sure, good for them. But um, like that, that guy, he could just stop struggling if he had no reason to keep struggling. To let his team win. Why would he? Let's see, he just died. That's one. Oh my god, either I'm lagging or they're lagging. Not, not for the two misses, but something else. area is gonna become the new juke house, I swear. When you say punish death, there will be no more heroes. No, but at the same time, you shouldn't be able to just completely fuck around and... Like, you call it heroes, I've had games where people deliberately get hang up on hooks just so they could get points. Someone could have come save him, and even if no one, he's giving time to the others to save start the generators. And that's what I'm saying, man. He has no reason at all to help his teammates. There's none. Not whatsoever. He doesn't get noble, um, he doesn't get martyr points for being on the hook. Like, that's why I think that either they should make it so if you die, you like lose rank, or they should make it so the people that are on the hooks get points for like staying there. Like, it's not, it's, it's a weird mix of a team game and a solo game. And it's fucked up, honestly. One of the reasons I don't play Survivor, I feel so weird. So I'm gonna come to save him. It's one of my major gripes with the game. It's four, like, it's four people with the same objective, not a team. It's a very clear distinction. So that, like, that's the problem, I think, is people are just like, oh my god, why did nobody help me, and oh my god, why did nobody, like, why did you stay on the hook or something? Like, just the very, th like, just the very thing that you instantly get kicked out of the game as soon as you die, that's just weird. She's either hiding in a closet or she's running around. Oh, above me. She's above me. Look, she drops blood under the... That's weird. She drops blood under the... Bridge. Where's this? Oh, like... Oh, they disarmed the trap, damn it. Ah, fighting for people's heart! Sadness, wow. That was another case where, like, I ran around her and she didn't turn around back because she didn't, like, she's too panicking. I 
And again, if they're all such a bum rush me, I'm fucked. Like this chick, she's waiting. Just that's what you should, like might as well do because it ruins the killer. And it gives you a chance to get rescued, technically. But most people realize that you're not gonna get rescued. You're just buying time for generators for which doesn't even matter to you. Again, you were riding a sort of at least a. There's somebody around here. At least a potential rescue, but still. I even made a video about it. You can check it out on my YouTube channel. Yeah. Yeah. It's called My Problems yeah. with the Game. As a matter of games, like they they effectively tied themselves into a double nut, triple nut, like um. Just walk into my trap. Sure, have you played have you played the game Evolve an asymmetrical game very uh, I quite uh, one of my very favorite games until they killed it um, but a very controversial game four survivors versus one monster four hunters versus one monster Well, some of the killer perks like that too, they're like 5% uh, uh, 
skill check fail and uh, things, but I know like some survivors, some of the unique perks are like uh, Mech has a unique perk that allows her to. Mech has a unique perk that reduces the sound of her vaulting. She allows to escape traps quicker. She. Um, the black dude, I'm not sure, can't remember his name, has like a bond perk which allows him to see nearby allied survivors. Uh, he has a no man left behind which gives him 50% increased blood points for doing altruism category. There are some pretty unique perks on the characters. One allows them to see bear traps. Not a case like this again. I hate this game, but there's like two people left and they can't actually get any gens because they keep circling them. said killer has the same thing it's like some of the perks are really cool and some of them are just yeah I use the one which triggers more skill checks with smaller sounds to do stuff faster I would not have seen that without that perk. Oh, jump through, jump! No. closest
first instinct would be to uh, go for the big house because that's always where the hatch spawns. So it's a good idea to try and memorize where you go down the side and then sort of go the most direct route towards the house. And then you'll sort of like off the find them. Five people can stop him. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. <sighs> <sighs> I got fourteen thousand blood points for killing five people. She got as much as a survivor. She got more as a survivor than I got for killing five people. Fuck my life. Like, that's one of the cool perks. Unnatural sync, launch up impending doom. Get enough the killers looking directly at you instead of within 20 meter range. While spine shield is active, skill increased by 10%, success is reduced. Oh wait, skill tricks trigger on this. I'm not even, I think it might be decreased. So, like, that's a sort of double edged sword, that perk. Because it seems to say, when you look at, you know when you're lo she's look he's looking at you, but you have a bigger chance of fucking up. Unlocks potential of one aura reading ability. Dying ancient auras are revealed to you when within 32 meters. 32 meters. That's fucking huge. So, like... That's a, like feels like some of the perks are sort of some of them are just plain stats and some of them are like really really good. Uh, you're talking about the whispers perk. This one, when you're within 48 meters, you sometimes hear the whisper. This one is useless, almost useless. This one feels useless. Alright, so there's just some perks that's objectively better than others, which is the main problem, I think. Let's see here, Deja Vu. No one has quite 50% increased blood points for altruism and perform the 5% quicker. Ability to watch traps. See traps. Unlock killer aura for 3 seconds when gate opens. This one is another one that I find useless. Like, I think the biggest problem is the fact that some perks, like, last throughout the entire game. And some of them are, like, only happens when somebody opens a gate or something. This one, this uh, iron will. You are able to concentrate and enter medicine like say, numb to pain. Runs of pain caused by injuries are reduced by 50% while staying still. Um, I've been told that the super rare version of this perk is 100%, meaning if you, when you stand still, you don't make any noise. Um, completely denying the main advantage the killer has of actually punching somebody, in, like, which is all the noise they're making. But we're in state. See a chest whenever they spawn. Hope. This one is useless too. Uncommon perk. Your movement speed increased by 2% as soon as the uh, gates unlock. That's puny. Potential reveal to you four seconds of starting a trial. Premonition. With undeniable capabilities. This one is um, this one is really good for when Wraith comes out, because uh, or uh, like this counters Wraith and uh, it, like what was called the killer stealth thingy. Empathy. Another case of being able to see injured and downed allies. Make 30% less noise when hiding in lockers and vaulting over obstacles. Increase 5 times speed of which you attempt to freeze up. Like, this is another one that just feels useless. And this one feels kind of good. It just jumps from like 3% perks to like 50% perks. Oh, premonition. 
but unlock potential one or reading abilities, so you see allies aura when they're within 12 meters of you. The one left behind. Both some interesting perks on the survivor and the killer side. But that will be all for now, then this will be like a small, small one hour dead by daylight stream. Um, Saturday evening uh, at 8, 8 in the evening, I'm streaming a game called Might with uh, a new upcoming team brawler with the developers of the game. Uh, where I give out, uh, we have a full key giveaway, so that's gonna be nice, so everyone wants to join. And if nothing else, then I'll be off for now. Thanks for joining, Pom. See you next time.